Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would do a nighttime skincare routine, but what I wanted to do is I just kind of wanted to go over some products that I use that I absolutely love, how I take care of my skin at night, and just some tips and tricks that I do like throughout the day. So the very, very first thing I do at night when I'm taking off my makeup is I'm actually totally in love with this Garnier Skin Active Mineral Cleansing Water. This for me has been a game changer because I feel like no matter how many times or how well I like wash my face, I feel like I still have makeup on there and like it still rubs off. So the very first thing I do is I just take like a little cotton round and I put some on and I literally just go like over my face with the cotton and I get all my foundation and powder and like normally you know if I'm wearing eye makeup you can go over that too. Today I'm only wearing foundation powder and mascara but like I just go over the whole thing and it usually only takes one cotton for me like I just I fold it in half I use one side I use the other side and then if I still have, feel like I have makeup on I'll just flip it inside and do that. I love this. It doesn't make my skin feel oily, which was my biggest concern before I bought it. I thought like it was gonna make my skin feel gross, but it doesn't. I love it so much. And even my little scratch that my puppy gave me, it doesn't mess with that. And then the one thing that I do next is depending on if I need to exfoliate that day or if I just need to wash, I have two different products for that. So if I'm just washing, I actually have this like little soft like face, I don't even know what to call it, face washer thingy? I don't know. I got these at Walmart or got this at Walmart for I want to say like two, three bucks, super cheap. I see a lot of big YouTubers using these but they like from what I saw use really expensive ones and so when I found this at Walmart, I was really, really excited. So yes, that was like two, three bucks. Normally what I'll do is I'll just get it wet and then I'll put the face wash on top of it. Now if I'm exfoliating, which is actually one thing that I'd like to do tonight, um, I go in with this. And this I just got at, it's like, I think it's called Bell's, and it's like a Kohl's here in Texas. And they sell like, it literally is like a Kohl's, like they sell purses and clothes, and makeup and all sorts of stuff. But I love this because it's like seriously so soft, but it really like helps get that like layer off of my face. And then they have this like bigger one that I don't really use, but yeah. And then like you can put your fingers right here, which same with this one, it's got like the little spot for your fingers. So that's good. Cause if you're like me in a total klutz and you drop stuff, then there's that. Um, the face wash that I actually use is I actually use the entire line of this. Well, not the entire line. I use most of the line and it's called Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. I've been using this for, I want to say about a month and a half now. Yeah, about a month and a half. And I was really hesitant and it was actually something that my dad had like ordered for his wife and then she ended up not using it. And so he was like, hey, I have this brand new like box of product. Here you go. And I love it. It the whole system together has really transformed my skin. Normally I would have such combination skin that like some days this would be oily, some days this would be dry and same here and same here and like I would break out so much worse when I was like on my period or PMSing and I really haven't had any of those issues so I like it's it's gone down so much I love it. So this is the skin softening cleanser and the only bad thing that I have to say about this, which isn't even really that big of a deal, is that it's really liquidy. Like, it's it's thin. So, like, when you're pouring it, see how it's just really thin. But I use a little bit more when I use this than when I use the other one. Um, and then I just dab to make sure that I get the cleanser on each part of my face. And I gently, like, literally gently go in circles and just make sure that I am getting that layer of skin off of my face. Now to rinse my face because I hate feeling wet and gross especially like when you're at the sink and you're trying to rinse your face 
even if I wash with that, I actually go back with this to rinse and I'll show you how I do it. So I just get it really wet and then I just go over my face like that and then I rinse. And then I just keep doing that until all the soap is off. I know it seems kind of time consuming and it really isn't, but because I'm doing this and trying to explain it as I go, plus I'm being really careful that I don't get any water on the camera, so I'm being a little extra careful. But yeah. So once I'm done with that, um, sometimes I'll let my face air dry while I brush my teeth for the night, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna pat your face. Never like scrub your face. Even if you wash with a washcloth, never like go in heavy because that'll actually irritate your skin and it can actually make you break out from it. So just pat. Also, I don't use excruciatingly hot water on my face. I use like room temperature, lukewarm water. That for me has worked best. Um, if my skin is like really inflamed or like if I have a lot of breakouts or if I just feel like I need a little extra for my acne, I actually use the Tea and Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Again, you can get this at Walmart. It's like two, three bucks. So sometimes I'll go in with this either in the morning or in the night. Tonight I don't need it, but it is a part of my skincare routine. Now, the next thing I do is whether it's morning or night is I go under my eyes with this Physician's Formula Refreshment Cucumber Bamboo ID Puffer. This is amazing. So I have like really puffy eyes and I actually have really bad dark circles if you can really see it. Um, and it's not my diet, it's not my water intake, it's not my beauty products. It is literally just something I've had my whole life. Now that being said, I am anemic but I'm not severely anemic anymore. But even when I wasn't anemic, I've always had that. So I go in just a couple swoops under my eyes. While that's drying, I go in with my Meaningful Beauty Cindy Crawford Youth Activating Melon Serum. Can't talk tonight. And this is great too. This feels so great on your skin. Like, but here's my complaint, and I'm gonna show you this right now. So if you look, Okay, see how it's just clear? Okay, see the orange in here? Sometimes you get a ton of the orange and sometimes you get none. I mean, it feels the same on your face. Like, it, these just smoosh in. They don't feel like little beads or anything. But let's see if I get some this time. Oh yeah, see, I got a couple this time. But I just wonder, does that alter like how the product works? So like, the parts of my face that aren't getting this orange melon, like does that, is the product not working as well? Yeah, see, I, I got a little more that time. I don't know if you can really see, but anyways, I just do that. And I, it smells really good too. Like I'm very fickle about how products smell because I'm very sensitive to certain smells. This one actually smells like, I almost wish this was a perfume or like a body lotion. I love it so much. Same with the face wash it doesn't have like an overly strong smell like you really can't smell anything at all which is great so for those of you that are sensitive to smells it is definitely friendly for that the next thing I do after the serum is I go in with my lifting eye cream by meaningful beauty and this in combination with the physician's formula I feel like have done wonders. Like, I feel like my eyes used to be so much worse than they actually are now, if you can believe it. But I also haven't been getting much sleep lately. So like, for those of you that know me or watch my channel or on my Twitter, I got a puppy like a week and three days ago and we adopted her at five weeks old, which yes, it's very young and there's a whole story behind it. So please don't send me hate comments that you shouldn't get a puppy at five weeks because it wasn't like that. Um, but anyways, she, you know, is young and so she wakes up every couple hours. So like I talk a lot about how I don't sleep. It's so the very last thing that I do is I go in with the Meaningful Beauty um, Overnight Retinol Repairing Cream. Now, I just wanna say really quick, this is the night cream, okay? Sometimes I actually will use this in the day if I forgot to use it the night before and I'm not going anywhere, I'm not leaving the house, but it looks super thick, right? 
it's actually not. And I've been using this for a month and a half and look at, you, you can't even tell, like a lot of times it gets on the lid and I'll actually just pull it off of the lid like that. But it's not like, it doesn't feel heavy. It, it feels amazing, honestly. This one has a little bit stronger smell than the rest of the line. But that being said, it doesn't, I don't feel like it's too strong and it might be for some people. So just a warning that that could be an issue for you. So definitely take that into consideration. But yeah, so that, this is the night cream. Now, if I was doing this during the day, I would have done everything I just did, but instead of putting this on, I would have put the Environmental Protecting Moisturizer with SPF 30. And that is something, you guys, that I can't reiterate enough. So when I was younger, I didn't put sunscreen on my face. In fact, I don't really remember wearing sunscreen like at all very much. And now that I'm getting older, I'm very paranoid about my skin and skin spots and wrinkles and all sorts of those things that, you know, us women in our 30s tend to get. So definitely wear sunscreen every day, even if it's winter, because, you know, back home, yes, it snows four feet. The sun reflects off of the snow. Even just driving in the car, you're still getting exposed to those sun rays. So sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. If you have any questions or you want to recommend a really good product, please comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell and follow me on Twitter at Joss Maxed Out.